So another uh, possible cause of abdominal pain is uh, what is known as the hemoperitoneum. Right? And anytime I told you guys that when you see big words like this, you try to define them from the first principle. Okay? What is hemo? Hemoglobin, hematuria. So anything hemo just have to be blood. All right? What is peritoneum? Peritoneal cavity. All right? So uh, basically, there's what? Blood in the peritoneum. Okay? So let's define this um, from the definition. Um, we talk about the possible causes. All right? Talk about the symptoms. Okay, now talking about the possible causes of hemoperitoneum, hemoperitoneum, uh, that means what? You should know that if you have hemoperitoneum, then you should be suspecting some possible disease condition. Do you understand? That's just what it means. You see, hemoperitoneum is just presence of what? Blood in the peritoneal cavity. So let's define it. We say that hemoperitoneum is a medical condition which is characterized by the presence of what? Blood in the peritoneal cavity, okay? Now, the peritoneal cavity is actually a space between the abdominal organs and the abdominal wall, okay? So, this can actually occur due to various reasons, all right? And these reasons could include, it could be that there was actually trauma or injury to the abdomen, all right? It could be that there was rupture of an abdominal organ, all right? It could be the spleen, it could be the liver, it could be the kidney, all right? All right, anything could actually cause um, that blood to actually accumulate there. It could be that there's a bleeding from a tumor or cancer. So when you see blood in the peritoneal cavity, there are so many things you're gonna suspect, all right? It could be that there's ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy is basically any type of pregnancy outside the uterus, okay? It could be that there was endometriosis. It could be that it is as a result of what? Surgical complications, right? Which is most commonly seen, right? You could see what? Um, hemoperitoneum, right? Basically, blood in the peritoneal cavity. So, what are the symptoms? The symptoms is what severe abdominal pain because me too i personally came across the concept of hemoperitoneum first when i was um, reading about acute abdomen okay and there, there will also be tenderness and guarding that's muscle tension in the abdomen there will be distension or swelling of the abdomen there will be nausea and vomiting there will be fever all right it could also result to what hypovolemic shock there will be reduced volumes of blood okay so this hypovolemic shock can lead to things like low blood pressure rapid heart rate and decreased urine output decreased urine output is basically the blood, uh, body knows that about this reduced uh, volumes of blood in the body or reduced fluid levels in the body so it's trying to like compensate okay so diagnosis if you want to note that there's blood in the abdomen or blood in the peritoneal cavity of course, it's inside, right? So the diagnosis just have to do with imaging studies, all right? So you can use imaging studies like what? CT scan, ultrasound, or MRI scans, okay? So treatment usually involves emergency surgery to control the bleeding and repair any damaged organs, right? Because if there's bleeding, there's an underlying thing. Yeah, so you want to control that thing, okay? So in some cases, endovascular procedures or interventional radiology may be used to manage the bleeding. So this hemo, uh, hemoperitoneum is a life-threatening condition that requires prompt medical attention. All right. So that's it about the concept of hemoperitoneum from the definition um, to the possible causes to the symptoms. All right. So that's it. And bye for now. And treatment is basically trying to control the underlying cause. Okay. So that's it.